Comes in, his shot blocked on the way through. Fluttered back ahead off the body of Gernhofer, though. Chip back around behind the net. Amarado's there. Amarado throws it up top. Yench, his shot. He scores. It got deflected on the way through. And the Bulls have tied it at two with 5.55 to go here in the third period. On Renger Roy, but nothing doing. Now Gatelaro rolls it in front. Backhander by Vanderberg. Score. And the Bulls now lead it by two, their largest lead of the weekend. They've made, and we get a whistle, I thought. No, I'm just hearing things. Nachala gets it again. He's hit from the side as he was winding up to take the shot. Boy, I thought I heard a whistle for sure. Now back the other way. Here come the Bulls. Purcell in, shot, and he scores. Eric Purcell with a wrist shot. Goes high on the glove side. Are in the playoffs. Puck loose, slides into the net. Port Huron's on the board, on the power play. Gorsuch slid to try and cover it up. It was redirected just outside the blue paint, and it slid beside the fallen goal warrior. Face off back in the Warriors' defensive zone. Eight minutes and 14 seconds remaining in this first period. We're tied at one. Two to one shot advantage for Port Huron. Top corner shot off the stick of Kaufman. Bounced straight down, but it was over the line, and Port Huron's on top two to one with eight minutes and 12 seconds remaining. Played to Jorgensen, who then feeds it over to Grote. Puts it over the shoulder and in the net. The Warriors are on top, one to nothing. Just 40 seconds into the second period. So Grote has stunts fed across. Tip between the legs of Milosic. Stunt scores, and the Warriors are up 2-1. to one. On the feed from Grote. Here's Jones, ahead for Pies, and across the far side stripe, punch shot that goes deflecting wide of the net. Scooped up by the Wild, up high, one-timer from Jones, he scores! And carry over power play. If they set up in the offensive zone right now, Harris... Wheels to the far side, shot, they score! Parker Toomey will send this to a game five tomorrow! Goes once again, up and out now is Lilligren, and Wenanchi's power play is O. For two, and Lilligren's out of the box, and he has a feed. Coming up by his breaking in, a shot, he scores! Victor Lilligren has made it two to nothing as he gets out of the box, and immediately... ...for Gervais, cycles up high, center stripe for Rose. Wrist shot, knocked down by Perry, they score! And that will do it, and the Fairbanks Ice Dogs have busted the hearts of the Wenatchee Wild with an overtime... Power play goal in game five of the NHL Midwest Division.
Diver across the line. Diver cutting in toward the net. Goes all the way behind the net. Diver looks for a center feed. To Salisbury. Shoots. He scores! Tanner Salisbury from Chris Diver. Time of the goal is 15-02. The Bobcats strike on the power play. And they score first. And how big is that, Troy? Oh, definitely nice little... Picked off by Sakeshi and cleared off the glass back to center. Zach Yan has it one-on-one -on -one with Manley. The shot's blocked, gets it back. Backhander, he scores! Zach Yan ties the game for Bismarck with 14.8 seconds left in the second period. Yeah, he came around our defense. With Ryder lobs it into the Bismarck zone. Backnack hustles in after it. Gets help from Eli May. Egan, Minnesota native, stops behind the Bismarck net. Center for Backnack, he scores! Ryan Backnack makes it 1-0 for the Brewers. 6.57 in. Corner board, Sakeshi gets it free, plays it to the line. Bretner centers one off the skate of Salisbury. Bruins keep it in, here's Austin Nelson. Scores! He fires the wrister hole with 4.38 to go. Well, once again.